Darktable 4.4 was released last week, and it has undergone a ton of new changes, so many so that it is mind-boggling. I can say that in fact it is one of the most exciting releases of Darktable I have ever used. By the way, if you need help starting with Darktable, consider taking our introductory Darktable course linked in the comments and in the video description. Now back to the video. Version 4.4 is already available to download at darktable.org. Without further ado, let's get to the 7 most important new features. I wish I could find more SEO stuff to put here to waste your time, but I can't, so let's just get on with it. Number 1. New Camera Support Darktable has added support for a bunch of new cameras including the Nikon Z8 and the Sony FX30. If you couldn't use Darktable before because your camera wasn't supported, now's the chance to try it out. Number 2. Darktable is faster. Much faster. Modules like Profile Denoise, Filmic, Split Toning, and many others are noticeably more efficient. Some of them have been sped up to up to 40%. If Darktable was slow on your computer before, give this latest release a try. Number 3. Fixed Bugs a huge number of bugs have been fixed, making Darktable much more stable. For example, you can actually rename masks in the Mask Manager now without encountering strange bugs. Number 4. A new version of Filmic The new Filmic module has a more subtle starting point. If you found Filmic a bit difficult to use in the past, give this one a try. Number 5. Rotate and Drag Now you can rotate an image anytime by right-clicking and dragging a line over a horizontal or vertical line in your photo. This should be especially useful for landscape shooters. Number 6. Vector Scope Guides In the Vector Scope, you can now overlay guides such as Complementary and Triad. Use these to better adjust the color scheme in your photos. Wait, what is this, painting? Number 7. The Contrast, Brightness, and Saturation module has been deprecated. If you're looking for a way to increase brightness and saturation, the developers recommend that you use the Color Calibration module, and Contrast is best changed with the Contrast Equalizer. An alternative to the Color Calibration module is Color Zones, which is sometimes easier to use. Or you can use Velvia. I hope you liked this video, and I hope you enjoy editing in Darktable a little more now.